decided, you know, we want to start looking at the other side of women, peace and security, men, peace and security. And it is the other side of the same coin. We have tended to forget about men uh, and men as gendered beings. What young men express is that they're, they're actually seeing in one way uh, what they feel it means to be a man, non-violent, showing your emotions. On the other hand, uh, these young men are actually experiencing all the time this stress from the society that they should be this macho man. When the world is falling apart, the circumstances have changed. There's war. What else do they have to demonstrate their manhood? Often is to demonstrate that manhood through the use of violence. Young men were saying about violence that it was part of everyday life. These ex-combatants, when they are being assembled, you don't only take the guns from them physically, you take the guns from them mentally. An entire generation of South Sudanese young men had only been military men. While there are no jobs for them, means that they will be civilian men with guns, which is the, the paradox of peace. The problem by and large is not that many men are doing terrible things, is that many men are not saying anything about the other men who are doing terrible things. There's a hegemonic or a, a, a normal idea about what men are, but so many men don't fit that either, and certainly women don't. I think it's easy to assume that most men are resistant to change, most men are kind of inevitably opposed to gender equality, that's not our experience. Our experience is in fact quite the opposite. I think the key instrument here is to communicate because mindsets, as you know, take time to change.